This is McCook's Mr. Bills, and I to have you here. I'd like you to play devil's advocate with me today and consider that during World War II, Japan attacked Pearl Harbor and was part of the Axis power. What would have happened if they hadn't went that route? And what damage could they have done, if any? And how much better off would they be today if they had went a different route? Now Europe saw the rise of Nazis and Adolf Hitler. Of course he had a cohort, Mussolini in Italy. Both wanted world domination without question. Mussolini had started to push into Africa, Ethiopia is an example, and the British however were going to do all they could to stop it. Very evident that Italy was going to be defeated in northern Africa unless Adolf Hitler stepped in and helped them. And they diverted 90,000 troops to help Mussolini's empire that was crumbling in Africa. Now Japan had to see the war clouds coming in Europe. And their best option is to see France and England damaged or even defeated. That would be a good thing on their side of the world. Why? Because both those countries had colonies over there. And the less power they could exert over there, the more chance Japan would be able to take over that entire region. They were also tied up in their own war in China. And it was uh, not to be taken on lightly. Why? Because in world history, nine the largest wars in the history of the world, seven of them were fought in China. So China knows how to fight, and they're not afraid to fight. And they are a large, monstrous country. Absolutely. So, Japan had its hands full anyway, but what they could have done at the very beginning is to ship over their submarines. They had 30 ready to go, many of them new and state-of-the-art. 30 submarines. If they would have taken them and put them in the Mediterranean, given them to Mussolini and said, here you go, an extra 30 submarines would have made it very difficult for England or France to send troops into Africa to help hold that area. It would have also stopped the supplies. It would have allowed Mussolini not to need help to take Egypt. And that alone would have meant that Hitler wouldn't have had to divert 90,000 troops out of the Eastern Front against Russia. That might have been a game changer at the beginning of the war with just simply 30 submarines. You rate this film. Thanks for playing the Devil's Advocate.